Okay, now we're going to run through programming the wrench quickly. First thing you need to do is turn it on, hit the OK button. The wrench will start up. It'll show you the firmware that's installed. Uh, don't panic if you've got a 1.6 firmware. That's not a problem. Uh, this one just came out of the factory. I have to come down to Fort Worth and put 172 on all the wrenches. But uh, once it goes through and does a self-check, you'll see a zero. Okay, And uh, it takes about 20 seconds for the wrench to, to cycle on and do its little check. But uh, all you need to do is hit the F button twice. And you'll notice the value starts flashing. Okay, So you can then use the up or down arrow key to change the value on the window. Right? Uh, you guys are working at, I believe it was 175 to 500 inch-pounds. So if we set this thing to 500 inch-pounds, you're good to go. Now, you need to set the scale, so hit the F button again, and you'll notice we're working in inch-pounds here. Inch-pounds is flashing. You can change it by using the arrow to foot-pounds, or you can change it again using the arrow to newton-meters, and you'll see the scale right here. Push it again, and you're in inch-pounds. Okay? The down arrow does the same thing. Okay, so we've set it to 500 inch-pounds, we hit F again, and we want to have our click on. If we use the arrow key, we can turn the click off, and then the wrench acts like a dial indicating torque wrench. But for your purposes, you want the click on. So turn the click on, hit F again. You can set a tolerance. So you can set a protective tolerance above and below your target value. So if we turn that on using the arrow key, and then hit F again, Here's our negative value. So you could say, okay, 500 is our top target, but we can also have a, a lower target than 500. So we could say, okay, uh, we want to be able to go down, say, 300 inch pounds below 500. Well, I guess the maximum is 225. <laughs> so you can go down. Uh, and have a negative value. Usually you're working in a much smaller window. You know, your target, say, is 500. You want to give yourself uh, 10 inch-pounds on either side of 500. Leave it set to zero. Okay. Hit F again. That's your upper tolerance. Okay. To go over 500. All right. Just leave it at zero. Hit F again. You see the little uh, floppy disk? That's recording. I would leave the recording function on. Just use the arrow key. Hit F again. Now you get a four-digit number here that you can assign for a task or a tail number or a technician, whatever you want. But uh, just hit the up and down arrow key to change that value. Hit F to move to the next one. Hit F again. Hit F again. When you get to the end of the four digits, hit F again. Now you get to your adapter length. You see the little arrow down there. Turn the adapter length on, it's off by default, and hit F. Now what you're going to see in immediately when you do that is you'll see the standard Stahlwilly adapter length in the window which is 17.5. So all of our standard adapters like this ratchet are 17.5 and the way that's measured is from the front of the wrench right here to the center of the drive. Okay front of the wrench, center of the drive. So on this tool, from the front of the wrench to the center of the drive is 17.5 millimeters. Okay. On your tool, the one that we made for you, now this one's just a half inch, we made you a one inch drive, you're going to have to measure from the front of the wrench to the center of the drive. And just get a ruler or a, a uh, you know, one of your metal uh, rulers and measure out and you input the number in millimeters into the wrench. So the distance from here to here in millimeters. Okay. So let's say just for argument's sake that on this adapter it's 30 millimeters. Okay. So you can hold down the arrow key and run it up to 30. Hit the F button and accept that value. Okay. So now the wrench is all set up to use that adapter. The next one is Terra or Tear Auto Zero, 
I would leave that on or turn it on so the wrench auto zeros hit F again and you can input a password I wouldn't do that leave the password function off okay so you hit F again and you're back to the beginning just say OK and you're ready to go okay now you'll notice the wrench auto zeroed right away if it doesn't auto zero if for some reason you have a value just hold down the OK button for a second and it'll auto zero and you're good to go and then the wrench will automatically auto zero after that All right now when you're using this you can hit the F key twice let's say you want to change the value to 480 and you're done everything else stays the same just hit OK and now you're back to using the wrench All right. Uh, once you've done that once you've set a value in the wrench and you've achieved uh, your target so let's say you go ahead and you apply your force Okay, you can put you can push the OK button to check what you applied to the fastener. All right, so you're going to want to check and see your 500. Now I can't pull 500 here on the wrench because I'm not strong enough. But you can just hit OK and it'll pull up the applied value. So if you want to check to see if that little pin popped out at 475 or 500 or whatever, just hit OK. The reason we have a red light here is because we didn't achieve. Five, uh, in this case 480 inch pounds if I lower this down to something that I can trigger say OK now okay when I hit my target I get a green light so you programmed in 500 inch pounds if the wrench clicks at 500 inch pounds you'll see exactly what it clicked at now if the technician overdoes it and puts too much on the fastener above 500, you'll see that too. Hit OK and notice instead of 90 inch pounds, I put 100, 182 inch pounds on the fastener. That's way out of target, right? So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions at all, please give me a call. You have my cell number. Uh, this little flap here is for a USB cable to download the data. If you guys want to do that, you turn the recording function on, give me a call, I'll send you down a cable so that you can suck the brains out of the wrench, and you'll see a time and date stamp uh, of what was applied to the fastener, what the actual applied value was, along with the target that you set. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, good luck, and uh, thanks again for the opportunity. Talk with you soon.